Hey everyone, thanks once again for joining and for watching. This is the second video in this series that I've been working on. I've been uh, showing you guys how I edit my shots in Lightroom, now specifically on how to enhance coloring. So if you missed that video, you can watch it here. I went from the beginning to the end, showing you the entire workflow in, in Lightroom and how I retouch my shots. I'm hoping you can pick up on something, you can learn something through the process. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the contents of this channel. I'll be doing some tips and tricks in shooting, editing, video work, photography, and a, a lot more. So stick around if you like this content. Don't forget to update your Lightroom to the most recent version as of today. Um, because if you don't, you may not see all the functionalities that I'm using in this video in your Lightroom. Okay, let's jump right into it. So for the next picture we're going to work on today, I, um, I picked this picture specifically because I really want to show how you can make the colors pop. Uh, night photography actually gives you a very good platform to take really nice colorful shots. So here's the final version of this shot here and this is the before. Uh, again, the final, here's the before. So as with the other tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and reset this. All right, we're gonna reset that. And all right, so let's jump right into it. So I didn't feel like I needed to crop this picture. Um, I didn't see a need for it. This pole here is was actually intentional. Uh, it's always good to shoot with um, perspectives. Um, there's a, a nice trick that I learned from YouTube here actually. Um, to shooting by placing objects in front of you and shooting uh, in that perspective. That actually usually makes almost every shot looks good um, because it makes the photo, makes the image uh, in focus just stand out when you have like another image to the side here looking blurry anyway um, So I I didn't feel a need to crop this so I'm gonna leave that in the shot That's definitely intentional and the focus here obviously is the the cop car and the traffic and the light sign So we're gonna see how to make the colors really pop in this and there's chick-fil-a in the back all right, so first thing is to uh, adjust the temperature. Um, it's a nice shot. It's always good to make this look as natural as possible. So the blue here, I'm gonna pull it down the temperature, make it a little bit cooler, nothing crazy. That's that's fine. Um, probably bring up a little bit of the exposure, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's right here, it's fine. And the contrast, I'll probably pull this more, a little more than I usually would. Would only because I like the blacks that are going on here, the, the glass here, I like the street, I like the buildings in the back, I wanna make that a little darker. Uh, highlights, we will bring that up just a little bit here. The shadows, will bring that down a little. Actually, no, we'll bring it up because we'll end up bringing it down towards the end. And the, the whites here, I actually, I, I want the whites on the whites on the cop car to pop, but not the whites on the cloud. Like I like this to come up a little bit. So I think I will bring down the whites. Let me do the highlights a little bit here. And before we get through this, I will actually drop a radio filter here on this cop car. I think that's just fine. Um, I don't want to blow out these lights here. Just I think it's here just here I'm, I'm being a little lazy right now actually I would have used an adjust, adjustment brush but this is this is all I want right now I'll just bring this up highlights a little bit and the whites a little bit that's fine that way when I drop the highlights I lose the sky but I don't lose too much of the cop detail here very minor stuff but you, you know that's that's what I want to do um, the blacks so let's bring this down a little bit that's fine so the other thing I wanted I was going for in this shot was the dreamy look um, not something artificial not too artificial but I just I just want a different look for this so I'll drop down the uh, texture to make it a little soft and I'll drop down the clarity uh, I'll increase the clarity sorry um, just to put that little softness there that's fine for me 
and the vibrance uh, will make the colors stick out a little more so we bring this up that's nice and we'll bring up the saturation just a little bit I like to bring up the vibrance more of the more than the saturation the vibrance actually um, is uh, is more forgiving when you push it uh, the contrast if I push it up all this way you can see it just gets to uh, so yeah I'll bring this to five that's fine bring down the vibrance a little bit um, going down to the color so i i kind of want to keep every color i'll just tweak the hue on them as needed um i like the magenta going on around here uh so i'll keep that purple i'll keep that may bring it up a little bit the blues i'll bring that up that's the that's the most dominant color in the shot i'll bring that up not too much right there is fine um aqua i'll probably bring that down a little bit and the greens uh the greens um i want to preserve the greens here so you know what i'll just slide the hue down not too much and i actually make this pop and you know what i'll bring down the luminance of the green to make it a little darker not like too bright you can see around here pull it up too much it starts disappearing i'll just bring it up down darker to keep that dark mood going on uh, the yellow, um, I don't like the hot yellow, like the banana yellow. It's not a really, it's not the color I really like too much. Um, so I'll mess with the hue and make it towards a more orangey look. That that looks good. And I'll actually crank this up a little bit. Uh, right here is fine. Again, this is to taste. This is preference. So if you want to bring it down, that's fine. You can actually, if you do this, it actually makes that look kind of white and I, I i like it i like it so i'll compensate around here but be mindful that even if the billboard is turning white you're also losing some of that yellow here so if you're trying to go here just know that that's the look you're going for again i want to keep that mix of everything there without making this too overwhelming so that's fine for me uh, orange look again just to compensate with the yellow i'll bring that up a little bit and the red the red i love the red i'll bring that up nice that's fine but just a little bit of red going on here so what i'm gonna do is to mess with the luminance the luminance is the uh is making a color darker or brighter so for example you want the red to look dark bring this down you see all the reds are dim if you want it to look bright bring it up and all the reds are bright um, i think i want it here because i want this headlight to keep to stay there um yeah i think i like it let's see how far we've gone so this is where we started and this is where we are and yeah i think i like it the blue is a little too much to my taste um let me see yeah the blue is a little too much so let's go back to the blues here and just pull this down a little bit i think that's fine yeah i like that and one other thing we're gonna do to make this a little more dreamier like I like how it looks if we zoom in here um, I like how it looks here but if we bring up the noise reduction a little more makes that a little more dreamy and I think I like that yeah that's fine um, sharpness eh, that's fine we'll leave that there and um, and then we'll throw on this um, graduated filter to keep that faded look to make it look just really to add the um, to add the final touch to it. Um, again, remember to reset these. Sometimes Lightroom keeps it. Let's reset these, and I'm just gonna do two things here, maybe three. So let's start with the shadows. Bring down the shadows again. To add this effect, you need to bring down the shadows and bring up your blacks a tad, and it just adds that nice fadey look nothing too artificial i think that's fine for me uh you can make this look more dominant by pulling down your shadows and by bringing that up a little more but just be careful you don't want to overdo it you don't want to overdo it at all and you know what i think i want to make this a little warmer overall so i'll just add that warmth here let's see here I start to lose a little bit of the blue, so I'm fine with adding the warmth here and then going back to our blues and bringing up that blue to say 16. That works for me. 
All right, I think I'm happy with this shot. Again, here's the before, here's the after. Before, it's always good to go back and look again. I think I need some of that saturation going on in there, not think too much. Again, this picture is intentionally colorful. When I was walking down the street in Brooklyn, this is the shot that I had in mind. I, I was seeing a very colorful shot and coming into the computer is exactly what I'm doing. Um, before and after. All right, so that's the final shot. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, so let me know what you think. Let me know if that edit worked for you. Let me know if you picked up on something you didn't know before. Let me know if you learned something new. Let me know if you don't care. Let me know if any of this works for you. I mean, you probably knew everything I showed today. You probably didn't know. Um, it's not meant for everybody. It's meant for some people. My hope is that at least one person picked up on a skill uh, on a technique that they didn't know before. If content like this works for you, let me know. I can post more of it. If you like to see more behind the scenes stuff, more before and afters, let me know. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please do so before you leave and feel free, reach out in the comments. I'll leave the links to the previous video in the comments and I'll be uploading the last video to this series. And until then, be safe, uh, stay creative and uh, keep shooting. Remember, the only way to get better is to shoot more and more and I'll see you next time.